you were talking about the census. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, what I heard is, uh, you know, whether how to, it's, it's like, uh, how do you, how the government decides the percentage? Is, uh, you know, WSB, you know, sometimes you say, okay, it has to be 18%. That's a number I, I saw today, okay, from FBO.gov. And uh, the, they were telling me that the reason you want to, you want to go and know your present, your existence there, you have to respond. And can you clarify that a little bit? Or not really? You know, if I, if I personally move myself into the hub zone tomorrow. It could change. Well, it, it could. It, it could be. Large chance is that it doesn't do anything about, it, uh, well, about particular, my particular service. Oh, well, so I, I guess what I'm saying is it, yeah. the numbers change all the time. So they right. change on a yearly basis. They change on a 10-year basis with the census. And so there's some calculation based on uh, statistics from a bunch of different agencies that they use to determine where the hub zone areas are. And it can change, so maybe... Not just the hub zone, but in general. Oh. You know, you respond it or not, and what I was heard is that, you know, those uh, federal uh, solicitations, and some, a lot, uh, a certain percentage of them is a, a source of salt. If you want sure, if you want government to know that there is a woman on the small yeah, business, we, engineering and business are out there. Yes, you, you, should you, reply. Do, you should reply. We tell our 8A firms that that they, they need to respond to those sources sought. So the agencies know that there's sufficient small business out there, there's sufficient 8A out there, mm -hmm. there's sufficient hub zone. So they might go ahead and set that aside um, instead of just go full and open. So today there's, uh, say, you know, the, 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 the Army Corps and JVOM has an IDIQ, an E contract. It doesn't really fit my specific Area. But you could pull together a team, right? Yes, yes. Do I, do I, do I respond, and so that they know that I'm out there, or? Well, I have always thought it doesn't hurt to to respond. That's lots of effort to. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess you might have to pick and choose. You know which ones make more sense for you, but the agencies, if they don't know that there's. Yes, sufficient sir. small business and okay one, one, res one response sorry one response could actually be that this opportunity doesn't fit right. but we would like to be considered for other opportunities um, uh, so uh, please uh, thank you don't yeah, remove us from that right list on the radar just right. case in point you're saying you know it didn't fit okay. i was at did you forget your name jackie jackie okay i knew it was a j I was at um, a thing that Jackie was at the other night that was with the Department of Transportation. It had to do with roads. I don't do road work. I do flooring. But Department of Transportation has got offices somewhere, which means that they might need my services sometime down the road. What better opportunity when I'm not trying to compete for a bid to learn their process, to see how their, their um, standard of specifications, to see how they put their proposals together, to see how their, their um, procedures for doing their um, plans and how they do their addendums. I have like a stack of paper like this in the truck of my car that I'm like, you know what? This is gonna give me understanding of how they deal with um, DBEs and how they package their plans and how they package their proposals and solicitations. And because who knows, you guys have got offices, mm -hmm. right? They're eventually yeah, might need me. We have a facilities division that has, um, that receives federal funds. Mm -hmm. So the DBE program could be applicable or a DBE program to those facilities. Mm -hmm. So to me it was worth my, my time to go away up to Seattle and spend four hours sitting there getting a presentation from a gentleman who's worked within the construction field all these years and mm -hmm. just to be able to go, you know, let me see how they do things. Let me understand what their vernacular is. You know, mm -hmm. how do, what kind of language do they speak? 
So if I ever hear them <laughs> speaking the language and I hear floors in there somewhere, <laughs> right? <laughs> I've already got a leg up because I'm not scrambling going, you know, who do I need to call, who do I, how do they do things, I've already got kind of a working knowledge. So I just want to encourage you, even if you get these solicitations, and it's not, it's not something that's your niche, still respond and be like, you know, this is not something that works for us right now, but we are interested in receiving more stuff from you. You don't need it when they send it to you, get the lead. One of these times you're going to open it up and go, whoa, this is perfect. Yes? Well, I'm just going to make a comment about um, responding to uh, solicitations that don't necessarily apply to you. I mean, I don't know about other folks in the room, but I really have to be uh, judicious with my time, and i got to be going for stuff that... <laughs> You know, I, it's hard for me to just solicit, just oh. comment, just respond to stuff that may not have uh, a payoff. Very I understand, like if it's the first time you're hearing from them and they're just kind of doing a thing out there, you can let them know it's not something you're interested in. But who knows, there may be something, if you can look at it and go, oh, this is somebody that there's a potential down the road. So it kind of it gives you the opportunity to get in their database or in their network, because I've done that before with some people, and it may be a while down the road, and then they'll they'll be like, you know, this is we specifically need you, and you responded, and we had you in our base, and now we want to send this to you because we've heard about what you do out there. And we've heard the good, the good word of how you conduct yourself or your business practices or whatever. And I've had, the, I've had that come my way because of word of mouth and reputation. And it's like, you know, oh, I, I, this isn't really suitable for me right now. But if you do find something in this genre, if you can just let me know. Okay. You know, that's an area, Dan, where EIW could really help uh, a lot of us. Um, you know, and I know you talked about having a list of uh, potential contracts and that sort of thing that um, you would put on the website. Um, at least for me, that is something that would be immensely helpful to zero, help zero in on stuff that I might uh, actually qualify for and be able to pursue with some seriousness. Sure, I think that's great. Um, are there any other comments for Julie? We, I wanna, uh, we, we started a little behind schedule, but we are gonna finish on time. Um, are there any other questions for Julie? Yeah, can we have your contact information? Uh, sure. Um, you wanna write it down behind you? Sure, and I also have um, a card I can give you. All right. <clears throat> so can I get a warm, uh, thank you for Julie. Uh, Four.